Criminal Existence and the Next Incarnation Jokobus underscore Stalmokas, posted on Saturday, July 27th, 2013, 7.31 p.m. Hello, Billy. Recently I read about Ian Brady, who had sexually assaulted and killed five children. He was declared criminally insane. How could it be possible when he managed to point out that he is less of a criminal compared to worldwide serial killers as Bush and T. Blair who capitalized on war economy? He also mentioned he does not regret it as well as these two former world leaders. My question is how spirit forms of such persons process knowledge of this lifetime to become more evolved in the next reincarnation with mental block capable to feel and think more reasonable way. Salome. Answer. The learning process continues in the next life, which starts without any burden from a previous criminal existence. Two, murder is murder. For a victim, there's no difference whether just one person or many more persons were killed as well. Life terminated and the learning process have been brutally terminated. Murder is always a severe transgression against humanity and a human being. 